Are you aware that there exist rocks in Jamaica that contain nickel and platinum group elements, such as platinum and palladium? Take in this paper, year 2000, and one of the authors is that of late Professor Trevor Jackson, my lecturer at UWE in Igneous and Metamorphic Petrology. In this paper, which is very thorough, it highlights that ultramafic rocks, such as those present within the area of Arntali and Cedar Valley, which predominantly exists in St. Thomas Parish of Jamaica, are key sources of these ore minerals. Now to give you greater understanding of the geology, I will now go a little bit further in terms of the general classification of rocks and their key minerals as this paper does highlight. Following this, I will then talk about what are some of the conclusions the authors highlight as it pertains to the industrial relevance of these minerals in Jamaica. And I will give some indication of what are my thoughts on their findings. Now then, take note of these terminologies as well as their general classification. Pentlandite, a nickel iron sulfide mineral. Chromite, a mineral that contains chromium used to make stainless steel. Hazelwoodite, a rare nickel sulfide mineral found in serpentine rocks. Arrowheat, a nickel iron mineral also found in serpentine rocks. Dunite and olivinite, also a serpentine-based rock of ultra-mafic composition. Now at this point, you should have a greater understanding about the following. One, that the general mineralogy of the ultra-mafic rocks that are within the areas of Arntali and Cedar Valley are serpentinized and they host nickel minerals. Now, before I mention anything about the industrial value of these revelations, let's now talk a bit about the platinum group elements. So as this paper highlights, platinum group elements in the form of platinum and palladium were found in the samples studied by these authors. Of specific relevance to Jamaica is the section that states that platinum group elements anomaly were found in stream sediments from rivers that drain the ultramafic body. So if we are now to look at the map and we identify Arntali and the Cedar Valley in that red highlight, you should now see where the major river sources are that drain these areas. I anticipate that there may exist some of you who are not yet aware about the value of platinum or the platinum group elements. So platinum is one of the rarest and most expensive precious metals. Similar is the case for palladium. Now this revelation should bring great news for Jamaica because this basically highlights that Jamaica acts as a host of precious metals in the form of gold, silver, copper, and now we're also making mention of the platinum group elements. Now going back to what this paper has said, the authors indicate that whilst these rocks are present, where they are present, and in terms of the capacity to 
provide concentrations that are relevant for industrialization, that is not really positive. So in speaking about where they're present, relatively speaking, it's a small area. In terms of the study, it highlights an area of two kilometers square. Then if you add the reality of the topography that surrounds these areas, we're talking about steep terrain, and we also add the general climate, which in basically supports chemical weathering and you know the removal of minerals. Basically, there is not that much of a source environment for deposition and concentration of these precious minerals to accumulate within the source rock or near the source rock. That's what these uh, authors have indicated. But when it's a case now that I observe what was stated by one of the authors, which is to say that the anomaly of the platinum group elements were identified in stream sediments nearby, then that gives indication that there may be stream sediment deposition of platinum group elements further downstream. And if we are to look at the map and see where downstream takes us, we're talking about entering into the regions of Albion as an example, or going towards the coastline, then it is a case that we should be testing those sediments or those areas and assessing the sediments of those areas, specifically looking for the concentrations of platinum group elements as well as nickel. Because yes, the authors did also mention that nickel is not highly concentrated further up to the source. So my thoughts now is that with the rivers acting as a source of drainage and transport as well as deposition, that basically the levees as well as the floodplains that form Albion could more than likely be sources of deposition and as such potential sources of these minerals. Whether or not it is of industrial grade, yes or no, that depends on what research will provide or present. But that is where my thoughts are now. We need to test those sediments further downstream.